Hello everyone, I hope you've had a good few weeks and are having lots of fun doing interesting things at home. Um, I have chosen a book to share with you today um, that is The Roald Dahl Treasury and as you can see it's a bit battered because um, I've had it for a very long time and it is very well loved and very well read. Um, I have chosen one of Roald Dahl's poems to share with you today. The Pig by Roald Dahl In England once there lived a pig and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that Piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an aeroplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. What was the reason for his birth? Why was he placed upon this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found. Till suddenly, one wondrous night, all in a flash, he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By gum, I've got the answer. They want my bacon slice by slice to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender juicy chops to put in all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast and that's the part I'll cost the most. They want my sausages and strings. They even want my chitterlings. The butcher shop, the carving knife, that is the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning in comes Farmer Bland, a pail of pig's will in his hand. And Piggy, with a mighty roar, bashes the farmer to the floor. Now comes the rather grisly bit, so let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Bland. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet, because there was so much to eat. And when he'd finished, Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly he scratched his brainy head and with a little smile he said, I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might have me for his lunch and so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat him first.